Hello friends, welcome back at the welcome to you. In this session, we will see indefinite integration on example for 12th grade. We will find out the integral of sin to the power of 4x plus sin square x cos square x plus cos to the power of 4x. Now whenever we have questions like this, we have sin to the power of 4 sin square cos square cos to the power of 4. Basically a sin square x plus b cos square x, that type of problems, what we will do, we will take tan x equals to t. If tan x equals to t, then secant square x dx will be equals to dt. And what can we do with this sin to the power of 4x plus cos to the power of 4x plus sin square cos x? Can we simplify that? Yes, we can simplify that because this is like a square plus ab plus b square which can be written as a plus b whole square minus ab where a is sin square x and b is cos square x. So I can write down sin square x plus cos square x whole square minus sin square x cos square x. So the given integral now became just dx divided by 1 minus sin square x cos square x. Now, we will just try to substitute tan x equals to t, then what will be sin x and cos x? Let us understand, if you take tan x is t, then what will be the hypotenuse? Square root of 1 plus t square. We can substitute what is sin x cos x from here and we can simplify that. We also know that dx equals to dt by secant square x. What is secant square x? secant square x equals to 1 plus t square. Let us substitute this whatever to change from x to t. Let us do that. So our next step will be integral of dx can be written as dt by 1 plus t square. So first I will finish that part into 1 divided by 1 minus sin square x cos square x. What is our sin x? t divided by root 1 plus t square. So sin square x is t square by 1 plus t square. Multiply with cos square x that is 1 divided by 1 plus t square. Let us simplify this. This will be integral of dt divided by We have 1 plus t square whole square minus t square divided by 1 plus t square whole square and that we are multiplying with dt by 1 plus t square. So we have one more 1 plus t square here. Now this 1 plus t square will cancel one time. And finally, what is left with us is integral of 1 plus t square dt divided by t square whole square is t power 4 plus 2t square minus t square. So is it plus t square plus 1? Now we have to find out the integral of this. Let us go to the next page. We will write down integral of dt into 1 plus t square divided by t power 4 plus t square plus 1. Now whenever you have these type of scenarios what we will do? We will try to divide with t square so that we can get them into one form like this will be 
1 plus 1 by t square divided by t square plus 1 by t square plus 1. And in the numerator, we have 1 plus 1 by t square. Now, what derivative will be 1 plus 1 by t square? So, if I take t minus 1 by t equals to u, then 1 plus 1 by t square dt will be equals to du. So, then how I can write down this t square plus 1 by t square in terms of t minus 1 by t. For that what we will do? We will write down one more step. We will say 1 plus 1 by t square dt. I will write this as t minus 1 by t whole square because that is the idea. If I take that as u, then my du is 1 plus 1 by t square. Now what I should do because here I have t square plus 1 by t square minus 2. That means I have to add plus 2 and 1 is already there. So when you simplify this, this becomes a simply integral of du divided by u square plus 3 which is nothing but root 3 whole square. Now this is a standard form we have integral of du dx by x square plus a square. For that we know answer is 1 by a 1 by root 3 tan inverse of x by a what is our x here u divided by a u by root 3. Now what is u? u is nothing but t minus 1 by t which is equals to tan x minus cot x. So finally u equals to tan x minus cot x. So we can substitute that. We will get 1 by root 3 tan inverse of tan x minus cot x divided by root 3 plus c. So that will be the integral of that will be the integral of 1 by sine to the power of 4x plus sine square x cos square x plus cos to the power of 4x. What we did this type of problems we will start with tan x equals to t. So we got secant square x is 1 plus t square and secant square x dx equals to dt. So we have changed this into 1 minus sin square x cos square x. Then we substituted what is sin square x and cos square x. We are able to get integral of dt into 1 plus t square by t power 4 plus t square plus 1. Now in this type of problems, what we will do? We will divide by t square so that we will get the numerator. Then try denominator, take it in such a way that the derivative will be numerator. So we have taken t minus 1 by t is u. Suppose this is minus, then we will take t plus 1 by t here. Since this is plus, we have taken t minus 1 by t. Now the whole derivative part will become du. Then finally left out is du by u square plus root 3 whole square. So we know that the integral of dx by x square plus a square is 1 by a tan inverse x by a. So this becomes 1 by root 3 tan inverse of u. u is t minus 1 by t but t is tan x. So it is finally u equals to tan x minus cot x. So tan x minus cot x by root 3 plus c. So that is the integral of 